guys, as you can see, I'm back home in Auckland. It is Saturday and I've come home for the weekend because Owen's football game is in Auckland this afternoon instead of Hamilton. So I'm home for the weekend, well, until tomorrow morning. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I have been coming home like every kind of second weekend recently and I haven't been vlogging because I've been wanting to spend time with family and have a break. But this weekend I'm going to bring you guys along with me, show you kind of what I get up to on my weekends home. I feel like this is going to be a pretty accurate depiction of that as well, which is good. It's quarter past ten and I slept in this morning until eight, which is unheard of for me. For most people that's pretty normal, but I don't really sleep in, so... It was great, got us all 10 hours of sleep. So mum and I are going to head into town and we're going to go do some shopping. I say shopping, we're going to the market. And then I need to go see my supplier for EGS apparel and do some things like that. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me as much as I can. And then obviously Owen's game is this afternoon, so we'll be heading to that as well. So let's go. Hello guys, I'm here with mum. And I've just been in to see the people who... This lighting's horrible. Anyway, <laughs> to do to see the people who do my EGS apparel stuff and they've given me the samples for the designs. So I'm gonna show these two guys, they're probably not gonna mean a whole heap, but you can kind of get maybe an idea for the vibe I'm going for. But these are the samples. They look so good. I'm very happy with them. I had to hand draw these on Photoshop, guys. It was an absolute mission, but I'm very excited. These will be out in like hopefully a month to six weeks. Very excited. Anyway. Next stop, we're going to bend on. Very exciting, girly things. <laughs> How's that? It's good. I've done a bit of shopping and I'll do a haul for you guys when I get home because it was kind of awkward bringing you into like all the shops and stuff. But, haul heaven when I get home. We've just been bike shopping. How is bike shopping? Interesting. <laughs> so we met dad here, he's going, is he going home? Or is he no, going we're going to Anna's thing. So mum and dad went bike shopping because they, as you guys know, have their camper van and mum's sister and her husband also have a camper van. So they go on little trips together and mum's sister and her husband have just bought e-bikes and mum and dad like to go bike riding with them and now they're going to need to get e-bikes otherwise they're going to get left behind. So we used to get left behind anyway. We used to get left behind anyway. So now they're going to have to invest in some e-bikes. So we've just been looking at some. Didn't buy anything because there's like no stock in the country but having a look and like sussing out sizes and stuff. But now we're going to an art exhibition which is the person who is hosting it would you say? I used to get art lessons when I was like year 9, 10 ish and so she was my art teacher and so it's her like exhibition with her friend so we're gonna go look at their artwork and then we're gonna go to the mad butcher and get some stuff for dinner and then we're gonna get some stuff for, like some bread for lunch and then go home also i have a sneaking suspicion at this art exhibition that my year 12 and 13 art design teacher from school is going to be there and i'm very excited if he is there because i haven't seen him since i finished school in 2019 so if, I, if he is there it's gonna be great. Danny, one of my flatmates, we're in the same art design class with him as our teacher. We mean to go back and visit him at school, but we haven't got around to it yet, so still wanna do that, but at least I might get to see him today. Hello guys, we're home now, and uh, my vlogging game. It's been weak today, really bad, I'm sorry. The game went well, but there was some interesting support coming from the opposing team, but that's okay. They ended up winning 2-1, which was awesome. It was just mum and I that went to the game. So after we went shopping, we came home, had like a quick sandwich for lunch, shot off to the game, came back, and now we're home. As you can see, curtains are shut. It's dark outside. It is 10 minutes to 6. And um, I have some shopping to show you guys because I did not show you when we were actually shopping. So, first place we went to was Bend On. I got resized, got some new bras. Great success. Obviously not going to show those because it's a little bit weird. Some people might be okay with showing their bras. I personally am not. So anyway, continuing. Next place we went to was the market. I got half a pump, no, I got a quarter of a pumpkin for dinner on Thursday night, random. And some avocados. And then they had this like Fijian market stall. And they were selling Fijian snacks. And my family, if you guys have been around there for a while, know like we go to Fiji every single year without failure. Until COVID came along. So, kind of sucks. We miss Fiji. We miss the people. We also miss the food. So, we got some of the FMF cookies. If you've been to Fiji before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We got some coconut ones, some chocolate chip ones, and some peanut ones. And then the guy there showed us these other cr cracker like cookie things and he gave them to us for free and it's like a snacks or jets cracker with peanut butter like a sandwich unbelievable and then after that moving on we went to the music shop because i haven't said anything about this so big announcement as you can see this isn't my guitar it's my brother's guitar because i didn't bring my one home 
But two weeks ago, I auditioned for the church band, so like the praise and worship team. Very excited. I passed my audition, which means I'm now in worship essentials. So at our church, that means you go along like every Sunday for a few weeks or however long it takes to like learn about how it all works and like setting up equipment and learning the songs, working as a team, like working as a band. Very excited about that, but that did mean I had to invest in a little bit more equipment. My guitar, I've had it for eight years. I've had the same guitar lead also for eight years because it's an electric acoustic guitar, meaning that the lead, it seemed better days. So I went and invested in a new lead. This is a six meter, it was 28 bucks, not too bad. Just so I can be sure that when I plug in, it's gonna work. And with that, I also, needed to buy an earphone extender because when I wear the earphones because it's like a proper like stage setup it's like a pretty much like a concert so you have like earphones and like you can hear the lead or like talk and say all right into the verse into the chorus and you have like a metronome in your ear so I need earphone extenders at the moment I'm just going to use like my earphones just while I'm getting into it and then I will have to invest in in-ears but in the meantime that was in the warehouse, 10 bucks. Then we went to Bed Bath & Beyond. You guys have probably heard me talk about Bed Bath & Beyond pyjamas before. They are my go-to. So, I got some more for winter. I have now three pairs of these fluffy pants. They are amazing. They're like a fleecy material. I was going to get blue ones, but then it was a big muck up anyway. The buy one, get one free. And then I selected two things. And then one of them wasn't part of the buy one, get one free. Anyway, it was okay. In the end, I ended up with this lilac set. So this like, is like fleecy. And then it's cuffed on the ankles like that. And then this to go with it. So that one's like a waffle material. So altogether, that was $34.90 because it was buy one, get one free. Which is so good. I literally... If you're in New Zealand and you're looking for somewhere, I think Australia has Bed Bath & Beyond as well. You, you can't beat them, honestly. And yeah, then that was our shopping done. Oh, and we went to the art exhibition. That's where I left you guys. Yes, I did run into my teachers, and yes, it was good to catch up with them. That's what we're up to. We're home now. Dinner's happening shortly. I need to do some guitar practice because I have band practice tomorrow at 1.30. So I'll bring you guys not along to that, but you are vlogging tomorrow as well. So you will see that, but I need to do some practice. It is nice and bright and early. Currently 8.30. I woke up at 7 this morning. Had some breakfast, packed the car. And now we're going back to Hamilton. Today I have church like band practice at 1.30. Don't know how long it goes for. I'm assuming like an hour, an hour and a half. And I have church tonight as well. And we're going bowling for church. Very excited about that. So I am going to head back to Hamilton now. Do a few jobs around the house before I head off to worship essentials. Okay, I just got back to the flat. And I think we're going to play a little game. All of the girls are here. This is the first time we've all been here since the holiday started like two weeks ago. So we're going to play a little game. It's quarter to ten. I'm going to go inside. We're going to see who's awake. Because this morning when I woke up at seven o'clock, Rachel and Morgan it said they'd been active five hours ago. That's 2 a.m. Danny was active six hours ago. That is 1 a.m. Taya, I don't know because she hasn't got on her phone. But anyway, we're going to go see who's awake. Welcome to Danny's car. Hello. You are. Hi, Bob. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, we're going on a little trip to the gas station to fill up our lawnmower gas canister, and I need to go to Bed Bath and Beyond to pick up some sheets. And Danny's got a farmer's for mascara and fake tan. <laughs> All the essentials. And at this stage, a farmer's card because I don't know where my wallet is. Okay, guys, we're at the petrol station. Danny's just filling up her car, and then when she's done that, I'm going to get out and fill up the gas. Which we have here. Just rang my dad to get instructions on how to do it. I've got the fuel card. So, someone's going to be watching this going, Emma, this is so self-explanatory. But I know, but I just want to make sure so I don't block the gas station. Because in New Zealand, like six months ago, someone was filling up a gas canister. But they were actually using a bucket. Like a plastic bucket from the warehouse. And they caught the whole gas station on fire. And today was not going to be the day that I was going to do that. Even though this is like an approved gas carrying container. I don't want to take any risks today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yeah, you basically do it like you're filling up your car, except you just stick the nozzle in this thing and then try not to overflow it. Are you gonna come fill this up? I'm so scared, I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. This is not going well. 
Mission successful! And now we go home. And we are home, so quick little haul. Went to Bed Bath & Beyond and picked up the sheets that I bought online. I currently have the exact same ones on my bed right now. I also had the same ones at home. They are micro flannel sheets in the Hush brand from Bed Bath & Beyond. You can't beat them. They are so, like for winter, they're amazing. So I, that's, I have four sets of those sheets now. Two down here and two at home. And then got some pads because uh, I've been a female but I'm gonna chuck these sheets in the wash because it's a nice day so I'm gonna hang them out um, and they can dry and I can put them in my wardrobe for next time I change my bed and I can just whip the old sheets off and chuck the new ones on so I'm gonna have to try and wash and dry them in the same day but then I need to do some practice have some lunch and head to band practice because I have to be there in like an hour and a half hey guys this is behind the scenes of my Emma's wardrobe clean out. Emma's underscore pre-love. I had, I had a massive wardrobe clean out the other day. Like I'm talking like massive, unheard of for me. And so I'm about to upload all the clothes to my selling page. But to do that, I need to take photos of them. And this is the only hanging thing, thing I have in this house. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Just realized I did not, I don't even know where I left you guys. I'm pretty sure I left you like, I was doing something in my room. I was taking photos of clothing. There we go. Okay, big update. Clothing, some of it is already sold. Some of it is currently available. I'll check my handle up so you guys can go get your hands on that if you want. New Zealand only, sorry, but there you go. Then I went to church. I picked up Chrissy on the way. Just one of my friends from Fanga Mata. Church was really good. It was a really good message on like dating and that sort of stuff, which was obviously very relevant to oneself. Then we went bowling with Life Group. I came third, pretty stoked about it. Then we came home, had dinner, went to bed. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's been. I know that I did a lot of talking and a lot of showing and I apologize. I have not been very strong in my vlogging game. That's something I wanna work on. But my camera's flashing. I need to edit this vlog. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Why do I look like I'm crying? Welcome. See, your car is more vlog friendly than I wasn't willing to tap my whisk. I didn't. I only spilled a little I love bit. Vlogging it's in fine. the car. It's, it's such a cool little vibe. <laughs> oh.